But that was kind of neat. Built by Chevrolet Tonawanda, the number one team. Chevrolet used to be the number one team. I don't know what the hell they are anymore. I don't even think they know. New Chevy small block. My new little Chevy small block. I've never run a 283 before. Usually I'm more in the 400 small blocks, but. I bought this on Facebook, reasonably priced. This is a 67 Impala 283, along with the power glide behind it. And that is probably one of the dirtiest transmissions I've ever seen in my life. Now, there might be more of them out there that are dirtier, but that thing is just caked with grease. But, wasn't so worried about the transmission. I wanted it for the engine. I'd be thinking, what in the hell you want a 283 for? Well, my idea of it was fuel mileage. You might have noticed, not really noticed, but if you watched my videos, I bought that 91 S10 with a 4.3 in it, and I'm not sure if the engine's that good in it, but if it goes to crap, that right there's going in it. I'm not going to waste money on a 4.3. Might be some people who would, not me. 283, 262, I believe a 43 is. I would say the fuel mileage probably isn't gonna be that much different. What I want to do is pull the cylinder heads off of it. The engine turns just a little bit, and the guy I got off of said the car had been sitting for 30 some years, so I'm guessing it just got some moisture in the cylinders. But I did get it to turn a little bit. I'm gonna pop the cylinder heads off. Check it out. First, I need to play musical vehicles. So I want to back that up in front of the shop up here. I need to move my S10 back up there and we'll tear apart the engine. Take out the cylinder heads, anyways. It's windy out here. Hopefully, this video is not turning out like crap. We'll get this moved here real quick. Okay, got the pickup back up here. I'm going to pull the cylinder heads off. I'll show you that I got pretty much everything off the Impala that was original to it. All in there, the bracket, Jupiter cap, motor mount, spark plug wire divider, there's the carburetor, which I'm sure is the original carburetor to it. A little fuel pump, probably not the original one that came on it, got the coil and got the distributor. Looks like some other stuff, I didn't even look through this yet. But Old radiator hoses, <laughs> old heater hoses. Looks like they screwed up the fitting out of the carburetor. Must not want to come out. They just twisted it up. There's the air cleaner. Where's the two barrel, two barrel air cleaner? The fan, pulley. I think I got all the bolts somewhere. I think I might have threw the rest of them in the box there. Throw that one in the box. You got a nice little aluminum spacer. That's what the engine is. 283, I assume that should say turbo fire, not urbo fire. 95 horse should be 195 horse. Anyways, pretty much everything is original in that greasy old power glide. It is a V8 power glide, which is different than a six cylinder power glide. I know a 327. V8 power glide is. I can't remember if the 283 one is. They have a better input shaft and they also have different planetaries in them. Uh, let's see. If I do a little scraping, maybe. Try to get some of these bolts out. Look like they already tried to do something there. Anyways, damn wind blowing. Thought that was kind of neat. Built by Chevrolet Tonawanda, the number one team. Chevrolet used to be the number one team. I don't know what the hell they are anymore. I don't even think they know.
Your bolt screwed up. It's still screwed up. Well, I rounded that one off. Figure out something else in there. Get this socket to work better. Screwed up. Well, it doesn't look that bad under the valve cover. It's a little cruddy, but seems way worse. At least it's not rusty. All right, I got a socket that I beat on there. Feels like it's gonna do the job. I hope. But I'm not gonna use the impact. I'm gonna use a breaker bar and try to do it by hand. But sometimes using a breaker bar will shock it too much. Let's see what happens. Acts like it's trying to move. Now it did for a little bit. Get the socket back on. Good enough to use it on it now. There she be. It's sticking in the it was sticking in the manifold. A little tip on how to get that out, stick your bolt down in there, do some vice grips, clamp on it, and just kind of hold it and twist it, and it'll come right out. A lot of people destroy them when they kick them out, but no reason to do that. Definitely that back cylinders had some moisture in it. It's actually got a pretty good ridge on her too. See it definitely had water in it. Yeah, 
It almost looks like it might have some forged pistons in it too. By the numbers on it. it blurred out there. L20 something, that's an old TRW number. Definitely got some forged pistons in it. It's definitely is it's 30 over. Let me get this thing a little closer. I was hoping it was still standard, but Twenty one sixty three thirty. A lot of ridge ring ridge in the cylinder, the ring ridge, whatever you want to call it. Feels like it's gonna need to be bored. It does have some forged pistons in it. And that cylinder is rusty. I did scrape on it. It looked like it was coming off. I don't know if that's good news or bad news. It's alright, it's got forged pistons in it, but it's not alright that it's got that much of a ridge on it. So we'll go to the other side. And see if we can get that cylinder head off. Bolted to it. Yep. Once in a while you get one stubborn, but usually they'll come off.
Yeah, it's pretty stuck in there. That one's on there. Whew. I'm about to wedge something under the corner up there. All right, I gave her a little love tap of them in the corner there with a hammer and a little screwdriver and it popped up. So, it should come off that. Not what I figured. This side looks good. It doesn't appear to have any water in it, or ever had water in it, just that back cylinder over there. But, zoom out that. It's got a pretty good ridge down in there, too see it or not. I didn't show up on camera but it's got a pretty good ridge. Good enough that it needs to be bored. I'm gonna spray some penetrating lube in the cylinders especially that back one I kind of scraped on it and hopefully I can get it to turn over better. We'll look at it some more, but the camera's about dead. I have to go charge it. All right, it has messed around the cylinder back there. Yeah, scraped on it. Scotch brighted a little bit. I also took a block, set down in there, and smacked it a couple times with a hammer. And I got it to turn over. So at least it's turning over. Good and good thing about getting it to turn over. I should be able to get the torque converter bolts out. I don't know what to say about that piston. He's pretty pity. But it does, like I say, have a heck of a ring groove. It probably really needs to be bored. The next thing you need to do is separate those. Put that on the engine stand, check out the crankshaft. I'm pretty sure there's no spun rods. Who knows if the crank's ground, I'm um, guessing it probably is, if it's 30 over in the bore. But yeah, I need to get this, you get that pickup up in the air and go up there and grab my cherry picker and come back here and pick that up, separate those. Get this out of here before tomorrow because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. She really used to be the number one, I don't know what the hell they are anymore. I don't even think they know.